this is Randall, this is Glenda, we're with KravMagaTraining.com and in this video we're going to discuss one of the wrist releases where they're grabbing on the same side and specifically making sure that we use our elbow properly to get out of it. And this is what I mean is, let's pretend Glenda is now the bad guy. She grabs my wrist on the same side. Um, this is the proper technique and of course we back up in a tactical stance. But let me explain a few little uh, common beginner mistakes to avoid. So when you're trying to make sure you avoid these things. Here's the first thing is that when she grabs me, most people They'll just pull the hand towards them like this, which is fine if you're the same uh, size as your partner. In this case, I'm a little bit bigger than Glenda. But the problem is, let's pretend that she's bigger and stronger than I am. If I just pull like this, I'm just using my bicep strength to try to pull away. It doesn't work as well. I'm only using pulling strength. So it's really important to remember to put your elbow in the right position in that. Think about you're throwing an elbow strike like this. So your elbow's going to go forward, but your hand pulls towards you at the same time. This allows you to get the pull and push benefit going both directions, like this. So when this grab is really strong, notice how my hand still pulls towards me, but my elbow pushes like this, and of course, back up your tactical stance. So that's a, a common mistake to, to avoid. It's not just pulling, but adding that elbow push. Here's the next problem that comes up occasionally, is that when it grabs me, people are like, okay, yeah, I need to start pushing that elbow forward. But when they do it, Notice how it's not breaking her grip. And this is the reason why is my elbow's in the wrong spot. Yes, I'm pushing it forward, but my elbow is not supposed to go on the side of her form or even worse underneath. It's supposed to go over the top like this. And this is the reason why is when my elbow goes over the top of her form, you'll see that my form is going to put a lot of pressure on her thumb, which is the weak spot of her grip. So when I do it slowly and I drive my elbow forward, as long as it goes over the top, see how it's putting that pressure over the thumb. So like I said before, don't go underneath. Look at it, she can still hold on to it. Or like this, she's being a little stubborn and it won't work. Go over the top of the form, put that pressure on the thumb, and you see I can actually fall through and clear it right over. Alright, so those are the two common mistakes that you want to avoid. Make sure, first of all, don't just pull your hand like this. It'll work if we're the same size, but if she's, let's pretend she's just deadly strong, it won't work as well. Make sure you use your elbow for it, but don't go underneath. Second mistake, make sure you go over the top. When I do both those things, this technique will work on someone who's larger than, and stronger than me, and that's the whole point. We don't want these techniques just working on people our own size, because most bad guys are going to attack people that they think are smaller and weaker than them. We want to make sure these techniques work on people who are bigger and stronger than us. So remember those two things, and you'll find this particular wrist release will be a lot more effective. Thanks for watching.